And thank you for our blessings. Close your eyes. Got a new job? Do you want to hear that we're pregnant? No. Next April, I'll be able to drink. Uh, I put lots of embarrassing things about me in the vlog, right? Sheesh, I saw the egg. She hasn't laid an egg in like three weeks. It's beginning to think she had stopped entirely. This morning, I have definitely decided that coming out here um, to take the eggs three times a day is keeping them from getting eaten. Um, once this week, I didn't come out in the morning. And when I came out the second time that I normally come out, um, one of them was eaten. So it seems like if I just keep them out of the nest, we do okay. So that's why I've been coming out here in the morning. So I've got four this morning. Yesterday I only got two. We'll see what we get this afternoon. But anyway, good morning, Seekers. I'm glad you found us today. It's Sunday. It is May 17th, which means it is day 66 of social distancing, if I did the math right. That or 67. I think it's 66. Yeah, basically, we've been staying home for about three and a half months now. It's kind of crazy. It's become really comfortable, and I'm really not looking forward to getting back out there into the world. Everyone else apparently is, and that's okay. Everyone else can do that. And then I'm going to wait and watch and see what happens by the fall before I decide what we're going to do dance-wise and school-wise. Phineas was planning to go to a public school this year. Virginia was gonna take a class at a public school. <sighs> Still kinda trepidatious about that. And Ronnie's planning to go because her college is doing in-person classes for dance. She's, gonna, she's already signed up for her classes. So there's probably just no way out but through once it gets to the fall, but I just wanna see, try and keep my kids home as much as I can over the summer but I'm realistic I know that kids who are older like mine you can't always control what they do good grief you got another package what is it Ooh, wow that's some bright eyeshadow you have fun with that exciting oh what's this around your neck What's that? A birthday present from Elvis. So, sis? Yeah, I took the one that made sense. Mm. Who's that from? Me. You? You bought her a present? Aw. What a nice sister. She knows. That's a pretty cool palette. Looks like you'll have a lot of fun with that. Whoa. What a lot today. Eight plus four, that's 12. That's more like it. Yesterday I got like eight total or six total. No, it's eight total, I think. So that's awesome. Got myself all fixed up to do a video. Then I just found out that I can't even share it because I got it wrong and I have to completely refilm it. But hey, now I'm all fixed up. <laughs> the kids are coming over. We decided to move church till later in the day. We decided to do evening church instead of morning church just to make it easier for having dinner with them so they don't feel like they have to be here all day every day um, on Sundays. And so we're waiting for them to show up. We're gonna have church and then right go right into dinner. So it's about four o'clock in the afternoon now. And yeah, that's how this day is gone. Nothing but chickens and hanging out and doing not much. Welcome everyone to home church today. Jasper is going to give us our opening prayer and then we will have our opening song. Hymn 116, Come Follow Me. Ready? With your arms. Remember, keep your eyes closed. Especially you. Close your eyes. This is, a, this is something you learn when you're one year old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm teaching you right now. Shut your eyes. 
fold your arms and pray with the person who's praying. Home church is starting to get on my nerves. You can't tell. All right, let's do it. Fold your arms. Heavenly Father, thank you for our blessings. Close your eyes. Thank you for our blessings. Oh my gosh, are you going to say what I say or not? Please bless the world. Anybody who struggles. Anybody who struggles to have strength and peace. And peace. Help us to have a good church today. To have a good church today. And to feel the spirit. I say these things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Okay. Who's running the music over there? Oliver, is that you? He has a new job. That'd be cool. Got a new job? Do you want to hear that we're pregnant? Not yet. No. No. Not for a very long time, preferably. For a very long time. Anybody else? Announcements? Announcements? Calling announcements. We have boring lives this week. Literally nothing is happening. I can't think of anything. Can you think of anything? Power in the basement? What's that an announcement? Time. You got any announcements? No. Oliver moved down to the basement. Oliver moved down to the basement? Is that true? Yeah. Nice. Are you moving to the basement too? No. He has to go upstairs. He's moving on up to Mom, the... Mom, Jasper slept in my bed and he's so cuddly. He literally was cuddling me all night. Oh, Jasper. I'm glad you weren't sleeping with me. And he said he's going to sleep with me again. <laughs> I'm not cuddly. I think I noticed. All right. That sounds like that's it for announcements. Let's move into the sacrament portion of our meeting. We shall sing. Wait, I have an announcement. Uh, We're having church. <laughs> we will sing. Sacrament hymn number eight, 180, Father in Heaven We Do Believe. 180? Followed by the sacrament, the passing of the sacrament by the priesthood. It looks like that. Loretta got me that for Aww. Christmas last year, but I didn't show up until later. Oh, cute. I'm not about Oh, the wallet? Hmm. I want to see it. All right, hymn 180, can we do it?
Thank you everyone for your reverence during the sacrament. Today we are going to be talking about Mosiah um, verses, well, chapters 18 to 24. Hopefully you've all read it, and if not, I think we can still have a valid discussion. We will be talking mostly about um, covenants with God and um, keeping them, including baptism being one of them. So if you have any experiences with your own baptism that you would like to share, I will be offering that opportunity at some point. Because <laughs> you always want to do a talk, so I'm letting you know you have the opportunity. You're, you're you welcome to. You were the to. most recently baptized, so your memories are fresh. That's right, that's right. Well, so, I don't remember, because it was a year ago. Oh, a whole year ago. <laughs> Mine was longer. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get to that. So, um, everyone please open up your scriptures app to Mosiah chapter 18 and then to verses 23 to 24. And does someone want to read that for us? I'll read it. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, well, do you need help? Bring it over. the Book of Mormon. She has a new tablet, so she doesn't really know how to run this yet. It's not a new tablet. Well, it's new. I have a new Okay, you're in Mosiah 7. You gotta go out, and then you click 18, and then you. You can see that. And you just scroll, scroll up until you find 23 and 24, which is right there. Which I'm doing. Be clever. So I think Loretta's gonna read it. So you just follow along. And he commanded them that they should observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy, and also every day they should give thanks to the Lord their God. And he also commanded them that the priests whom he had ordained should labor with their own hands for their support. Okay, so what does it tell us? Uh, there are three things, three important things in that scripture that it tells us about the way that we're supposed to worship. Who can tell me one of them? Anybody? What, what was the first thing that it told us what we should do in our worship? It talked about specifically a word that starts with S. The Sabbath. No, not the sacrament. The Sabbath. So, what does it say to do on the Sabbath day? Keep it holy. Keep it holy. What are some ways that we can do that? Any ideas? By attending our church meetings. All right. By being here, even though we have to do it ourselves, attending our church meetings, making ourselves do what we're supposed to do that way in our church service. Um, any other ideas? What, what are some things we could do to um, that Heavenly Father has asked us not to do? How about that? What are some things we should not do on the Sabbath? Um, go shopping. Shopping? Anything we'll else? Go to work if we can help it. Not supposed to work, right? Does that mean we can't ever clean a house or, go, you know? I mean, if you want to take it technically, I guess it, could, it should be. You should prepare on Saturday. But I think that the Lord wants us to have a nice clean house, so if Sunday's when we have to do it, sometimes we do it that way, I think. All right. Um, the second one involves what we, what we do every night before we go to bed. What do we do all together? Praying and offering thanks. Thanks. That's right. He wants us to be grateful for what we have. So that's why when I was helping Jasper say the prayer earlier, the first thing we did was thank Heavenly Father for our blessings. And brush your teeth. And brush your teeth. What are some of the blessings that we have, Jasper? What are some blessings? Is it a blessing to have a house? A house? Yeah. Is it a blessing to have a yard that we can play in? Even though we have to stay home, it's a blessing to have food, isn't it? It's a blessing to have family. Yes, it is a blessing to have family. So we need to remember every day to be thankful. Um, what does it say about the priests in the Lord's house in that scripture? Did you remember? It was the last thing. I don't know when I get it. That's right. It said that they should do the job for free. <laughs> so no one in our church gets paid. We're all volunteers, even the prophet. He doesn't get paid. Um, the bishops don't get paid. It's not a paid position. God wants us to serve because we love him and we want to share this gospel, not because we want to make money. All right, that was an interesting one. All right.
Well, let's go to verse 10. Who wants to read verse 10 of chapter 18? I can. Okay. Now I say unto you, if this be the desire of your hearts, what have you against being baptized in the name of the Lord? As a witness before him that ye have entered into the covenant with him, that ye will serve him and keep, the com keep his commandments, that he may pour out his spirit more abundantly upon you. All right. So... What what part of the covenant that we, do we do when we're baptized? What do, what do we promise? Eloise, you were just baptized. Do you remember what we promised? Not just well, about a year ago. That's not too long ago. Jasper, honey. What? Basically, we we covenant to be like him, don't we? So we try and be like him. What what are some ways we can be like him? Anybody? Okay, serving others. What do you think some things are that Jesus would do if he was here right now? Respect his mother and father. <laughs> Respect his mother and father. Yeah, that's something he would definitely do. Uh, what about... What if somebody was sad? What would Jesus do? Comfort them. That's right. He would probably give them a hug. Tell them it was going to be okay, right? Try and make them feel better. So we can do that. We can serve each other by caring about each other and caring about each other's feelings. And when one of our siblings is sad or crying, we can find out why, right? And we can try and make them feel better. What? Well, Jasper has a harder time with that. you got to learn to tell people what you need, okay, buddy? Okay. All right. This is probably the song that they sang at my baptism. We just talked about all of our baptism memories. Some people had some and some people did not. We won't tell you which ones, but I'm sure you can figure it out. I had some. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> did you have any memories from your baptism? No, yeah. I didn't have You haven't had a baptism yet? Yeah. Oh, that's next year. You're seven? Why did that happen? No, she's only seven. Last month, you were there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next April, and hopefully oh, we'll be able to have a party by then. Next April, I'll be able to drink. Uh, I'm going to give you that. Oh, it'll be a party. Would, I decided to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> I had a baby before I was old enough to drink. Okay, let's not do that, though. All right, let's sing. And we have we got the song. We're going to sing oh, right. Children's Song Book 100, Baptism. I put lots of embarrassing things about me in the vlog. Right? Right. Roll the clips. Right now. No. <laughs> Too much energy. Okay, sing. Help us to have a spirit. <laughs>